Do you like my YouTube videos? If you do, please leave a comment and actually click on the like button. And if you want, you can hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. Hey, and go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified. Thanks. Take care, guys. So again, guys, people underestimate a monitor lizard's ability to climb, you know, outside of tree monitors, etc. Here we go, black-throated monitor, climbing up the side of my house. It's just a brick wall, straight up brick. Nothing else. Yeah, um, this is monitor number one, the escape artist, and they scale it just like Spider-Man. If you look, there's nothing here. There even came a point where before I started filming, he lost grip with his front two feet and fell sideways and was able to hold on with just his back two feet on the brick, pick himself back up and continue. Now, I don't know if the wings are making a difference or not when he's scaling this ledge, um, but obviously he did you know, fully evacuate his bowels, huge pee, huge poop when I brought him outside to make sure he was as nimblest, as lightest, because again, there's a little bit of fear being outside. It's still a new thing that we're working on with him. But if we look, terrestrial lizard, I say it all the time, terrestrial lizard that can scale a straight wall like this. I mean, that's extremely impressive. So think if this was a slanted tree, guys. If this was a slanted tree, this guy's scaling it easily with no support whatsoever, just a straight scale, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So some of you may ask, why am I doing this? Well, this is a couple things. This is good to see the ability of this monitor to climb. And even as this monitor gets bigger, fatter, bigger paws, I'm going to continue to see its ability to climb on things like this because I don't think we document it very well. The second thing, look at those tongue flicks. It's getting the sense. Brain is processing, right? The brain is just a computer. Really great enrichment climbing like this. You know, natural instincts of this monitor are kicking in. You can see the fast tongue flicks. So you know there's some natural thought process going on. And then one of the other ones, see maybe back here, amazing ability to naturally grind down the nails. L look at some of these nails here. They're really ground down. You can see the tips are turning white uh, and they're really grinding them down. And then I'll just pick them up and I'll just put them lower and Spider-Man will continue to climb. No, his name's not Spider-Man, but still. Uh, and now, if anyone is wondering what would happen if they were to fall? Well, so that's another good question. I'm very glad you asked. So I have them obviously on the bat wing, you know, little, uh, harness leash here so even if he were to pull off I'm holding this really taut so if he were to fall off he would just dangle this would catch him there's no weight on his neck it goes around his chest and in the two arms so he would be perfectly safe nothing bad will happen and as he climbs different heights you know I give him more slack because it's you know a long way down he's probably about six feet off the ground now and he can get to what a maximum of maybe eight feet before he gets to the side there the uh, the siding and again we just go back down great enrichment uh, and I anyone who does this please if you got monitors and they're especially they're small try to let them climb straight up a brick surface this has got some texture there's a little bit of a lip right anyone who works with brick but if you look a lot of the times like that his foot is right in the brick here it's not always clipping the edge you know look at that right there it's grabbing into the brick really good great 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 enrichment thanks for watching guys take care so now we're going to look at black throat monitor number two who if we look at the size difference is significantly larger like maybe two and a half times the size uh and i have a video where i go more into the size in detail guys but we have a significantly larger monitor what is this monitor's ability to climb well, again, in climbing, we're going to take in a few factors. And number one is always going to be weight and size of the monitor for a few things. So obviously weight, the monitor is heavier, therefore it would be harder to climb. This is mostly you see even in, let's say, athletes where a bodybuilder who's just huge and muscular, normally if there's any type of competition that requires hanging on to something, and just who would fall first, and then a, a very conditioned, fit, 
high stamina athlete who has much less muscles can sit there and hang for longer because of the weight difference. The size also can make it sometimes awkward to climb because it's not as easy to fit onto certain things or to hold on to certain bridges, um, ledges, you know, get grips on things because you have the larger body that gets in the way, the larger head, the larger neck, the much larger tail. So that can make climbing things sometimes more difficult. And then the other thing, which is really a double-edged sword, is the larger hands. So yes, the larger hands and the larger claws are going to be a benefit and a negative. And the reason for this is the larger claws and the larger hands can yeah, get a stronger grip, can grip into things, but also their size can make it harder to get into the smaller spaces that maybe a smaller hand with the smaller nails can really get into uh, and lock in. So we see a difference of behavior. Now, this is the first time that this black throat has been up on a straight wall. So what do we see? Number one, tongue, fast, fully extended tongue flick where the fork on the tongue is fully separating when it gets out. This is intelligence mode. This monitor has never been in this situation, although has climbed on vertical walls before inside the tank, but has not been on this brick wall, smelling the brick wall, tasting the brick wall, figuring out what is going on. Now, this monitor too, I don't know if, if, he, if she needs to poop. She didn't poop when she came outside right away like the other one. She's looking a little bit big. She is shedding as well. You can see the shed here and all the new skin there. So she's definitely checking out this environment before she does anything. She's going to check out the environment. She's going to learn about the environment. We'll get a little bit closer here. So we can just see. She's probably looking at me like, Dad, what the heck is this thing that you're putting me on? And by the way, guys, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there, human or any type of pet as well. There's a big commitment in having pets, you know. Um, sometimes pets are harder than human babies, so depending on the pet, so there's no less, uh, less credit given. Uh, and we can take a look at the grip that's being used. So we got grips into the wall and holding onto the mortar. Now, this monitor has not tried to climb yet. So we don't see the nails being ground down at all, although we do see the big, big claws that this guy has. Like, look, he's able to just with this claw hold on to that little lip that's right there, which is so fascinating. And now the sun comes out. Let's look at the approach that this monitor is using to hold on. This monitor is completely flush. Look at this completely flat and flush all the way down, including the tail. And if we come down here, I'll show you at the tail. Now, I have to pull the tail away. The monitor, and watch, it goes right back to the wall. The monitor is pushing the tail against the wall to give itself leverage. That way, it, it's not going to, um, it's straightening that tail all the way down and pushing it against the wall. That way, the monitor does not tip back backwards. That's acting as kind of a, a kickstand, let's say, for a bike. It's exactly what she's using it at. So high, high intelligence. Now, is this monitor in distress, people would say? You know, is it stressed out being on the wall? That's a great question. Very good, all of you have asked. Kind of half and half. So when we talk about stress in a lizard, sometimes new environments uh, and new enrichment can put a little bit of stress on your lizard that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad because new things get the brain working and get things going. But they're also like, what the heck is this? You know, so any new, any new environment and any new form of enrichment will always give a little bit of stress. And that's completely all right. That's normal. It's okay. You don't have to worry about it. So if we look at the eye here, we have uh, slightly dilated pupils, but not all the way dilated. Got a little bit more dilated when I put the camera right here. Uh, so we, we know that uh, slight, slight amount of stress, which again is normal for any type of new environment. The reptile though is not in any danger of being hurt. Again, I have the fall here, which means I don't know, what could it fall if it fell off of that? It would fall maybe four inches. It's about, it's about three and a half to four feet off the ground. So no chance of it hitting the ground. And realistically, even if it fell from this height to the ground, the monitor is not, you know, a 100-pound monitor. It's really not going to 
injure itself from there. They take much further falls out in the wild. So what I'm gonna hope to do is maybe stimulate just a little bit of climbing by pushing up on her butt and see if we can see how she looks when she climbs for you, just so you guys can go back in the video and compare. Here we go. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't. Look at this. Look at this spread formation. Such a smart creature. Spread arms, spread legs, full tail compressed against the wall for leverage, full body compressed, including head. I mean, this is a this is a good lizard. It knows what it's doing. Hi. Hi, big girl. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? You ready to go up for a just a little bit up? You can look as I'm petting the head. She likes this. The tail is moving. She's not uh, as, you know, stiff on the wall. That tongue is moving in intelligence mode again. This is giving her some reassurance that I'm here. I'm going to keep her safe. Now, she's probably not going to like getting poop booted up a little bit, and she may do nothing, but we'll see what happens nonetheless. I'm going to go from here. That way, again, I have a good support if she were to fall at all. All right, looks kind of like a chin-up is occurring. Oh, we got movement. We got the sun. I don't want to get sunburned, so we really got to get moving. Come on. You want to climb? Come on. Give me a climb. Miley Cyrus, it's the... If, someone, if we were allowed to play copyright music, we'd be playing Miley Cyrus, it's the climb. But no... Guys, she's like, uh, heck no, I ain't climbing nowhere. She definitely just wants to hold on for some dear life, which is okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop the video now, guys. Take care. Have a good time. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.